welcome to the Community Involvement Show. And we're up here at Mother Mary's in Phoenix City, Alabama with Miss Chelsea Arrington with the Back to School program. Chelsea, tell us all who's involved out here today. Yes, yeah, so we're kicking off our fifth annual community-wide Back to School supply giveaway here in Phoenix City, Alabama. This year's partnership is with Generational Changers, Landon Me New Chapter of Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated, Terry's Tots Child Care, Enrichment Services, and United Way. And we had many donors and sponsors as well. Well, that's great. Now, how many people do you think you're serving this year compared to last year? We're roughly serving between 700 and 800 people this year. You know, that's great with the way the economy is and mm -hmm. how expensive stuff is. Mm -hmm. Well, Chelsea, we're going to walk around and shoot some more around okay. here, and we'll get with you before we leave. Okay, awesome. So you think of something you want to tell us. Okay, I will. All right. Mother Mary's today at the back to school giveaway and we're here with Dr. Selden, the acting superintendent of Phoenix City School. Doc, how do you uh, like what's going on out here today? I always love it when the community comes together to try and meet the needs of our students and community at large, but especially our students because we have uh, so many needs within our community and we just want to make sure that our kids are prepared and ready for the first day of school and look like they got everything they need out here. Yes, and they, uh, I was talking to Miss uh, Arrington earlier and it's about normally 700 or more students that they service. So we've wow. got to get the word out to even yeah. get more because mm -hmm. we know we have a lot out there. Now, Doc, want, I want you to stick a plug out on this show because I know you're hiring bus drivers and, and things. Yes. Tell the citizens what you need. Yes, yes. We need drivers, bus drivers um, throughout the city in different places, key places. We will have a park bus there and it says now hiring. So they're strategically placed in Phoenix City where there's a lot of traffic. So we need bus drivers, we need school teachers, we take applications for parapros, substitute teachers, custodians. So if you're available, if you're interested, uh, we have good benefits. Our benefits that we offer uh, in the Phoenix City school system is, is at the top in terms of uh, getting health care coverage and all of that. So we have a good, good benefit package. And we pray, uh, we also pay uh, pretty decently as well. So we love to have you put in the application. You can apply online at our uh, PCBOE website. There's a link on there that you would simply follow and you access the online application. We'll go from there. All right, thank you, Doc, uh, for coming out today and mm -hmm. seeing the children and of what course. we are doing, what Miss Arrington and her group is doing. So we'll talk with you later. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, sir. Thank you now. Still out here in Phoenix City at the Back to School Drive, and we're here with DJ Jones with Sports Vision. DJ, tell us uh, your participation out here today. Well, I'm out here, of course, my dear friend, Laquita Booth, who's obviously working in conjunction with the Richmond Services. And this Back to School giveaway is something that uh, I believe in and I, I know that's needed in our communities, especially here in Phoenix City. But uh, just here to support, here to say hello to everybody, and again, just uh, welcome the kids back and getting them ready to go back to school. Well, and that's great. And I'm glad you mentioned Dr. Booth, because. Uh, I will be talking to her because she has another program as well, working with vaccination. So we're going to continue to keep that going. Well, we want to thank you for being out here today yes, sir. and, with, and uh, all the supplies that y'all have bought to give to these students. 
thank and thank you. you, Leroy, for doing what you're doing in the community, informing everybody, educating everybody, and of course keeping everybody on tail. All right, thank you, sir. All right, we're still moving around. I hit Mother Mary's in Phoenix City, Alabama, and we have Commissioner Reed with us. And Commissioner Reed, this is his district. What uh, what district is this, Commissioner? Okay. District Four. District Four. Tell us something about this that's going on today, Commissioner, and how you participate in it. Yeah, I'm, I'm involved with Mother Mary Mission. I support them a lot. And not just uh, just be up here. I support them financial-wise as well. They, they're doing an outstanding job. And they also are getting ready to open up a, a, a homeless shelter for the female. And uh, it's, it's a great day. Like we got a pretty good crowd of people out here. Yep. And I just want to say good afternoon to everybody. And uh, I just want to make sure everybody have a pretty good time out here and I see people coming out here getting their uh, boat pack and everything they just they got plenty of food and everything out here all right then that's great well thanks commissioner for saying a few things to the citizens and we'll be right back beam is delivering gig speed internet to 100 percent of our network but should you get a gig well if you want to download an album in a blink video conference in 4K, make virtual reality more real, power all of your home smart devices at the same time, and still have bandwidth to stream everything without buffering, then yeah, you gotta get a gig. So call, click, or visit and get it. Because when you gotta get a gig, you gotta go with Beam. Bringing East Alabama more. We're still here in Phoenix City at Mother Mary's at this great back to school give out. And I have two people here with me with the enrichment program. So I'm gonna ask them to introduce themselves and tell us a little bit about the uh, vaccine equality and with the enrichment program. So we'll start with you. Hello everyone, I'm Lily Seals. I'm the Director of Practice Transformation with the National Community Action Partnership. I'm here in support of Enrichment Services Program, who is really focused on vaccine equity um, in the community. So, so glad to be here in Phoenix City, and I will let my colleague introduce herself. Hi, I'm Mary Beth Schneeber Remrev. I'm the Director of Organizational Capacity Building with the National Community Action Partnership. Also really happy to be here uh, from Washington, D.C. to support Enrichment Services with this awesome event. I've had the pleasure of working with Enrichment Services for the last few months very closely uh, on this project. And so, so grateful to be down here on the ground where the action in, is happening. So, well, so tell us something, uh, is it Mary? Uh, Mary Beth. Mary Beth, tell us something about the the, the, uh, the, the goal of the vaccine uh, equal, equity. Yeah, so we know that not everybody has the same access to be healthy. Not everyone has the same access to uh, these life-saving vaccines. And so the goal of this project is to spread the word about vaccines, but specifically target neighborhoods and communities that have been left behind in the vaccine distribution and ensure that they have access to those really important mm -hmm. resources. Do you want to add anything? You have certainly covered it, uh, Mary Beth, and just want to say um, Enrichment Services has um, really has the community at heart um, and really also looking at this back to school event um, as an opportunity to increase awareness um, again and access to vaccinations. Okay, and, and uh, I just want to make sure that I understand it right so that the citizens can understand it Absolutely. right. Is that when we're talking about vaccine, we're talking about mump, chicken pox, we're talking about all vaccines. We're talking about vaccinations, right? Right? This is about right. keeping our communities um, our, and our families safe. So um, certainly when we talk about um, flu, we talk about COVID, we talk about chicken pox, we talk about all of those vaccinations that keep every member in our family and every member in our community safe. And that's why I just wanted to make sure that we got that out, that we wasn't just talking about COVID, but we we're talking about all vaccines. Now, because when I went to school, you had to get shots before you could even walk through the door. Exactly. And exactly. now it seems like we went away from that, or uh, have we? Well, what I will say about um, vaccinations, and, and I'm familiar, we, we had to have vaccinations as well. You know, we really want to focus on just making sure that in the communities um, where there are events or um, where there may not be access, um, we know transportation is always uh, an issue, that we are positioning ourselves um, in such a way that people can access vaccinations, um, whether it, you know, if they're not able to go to school. And remember, this is, you know, we, also, we always talk about children, but we're also talking about our parents. We're talking about right. our grandparents. Right. So we're talking about our community at large. Okay. okay. And, and the, the other side 
out of this is uh, that I want to make sure that everybody understands yes. is that your your enrichment program is working with uh, Muskogee County, Russell County, and uh, it's one other county. So Enrichment Services Program, uh, the CEO is Belva Dorsey, and yes, they are working with um, Troop uh, and Stewart County in Georgia and um, Russell County in Alabama. And, and the other th side of this is that they will come to you if they need to, correct? You don't, if you don't have transportation right. and you want to set up something at your church to get vaccinated, uh, educated, Absolutely. all you need to do is call. Now, can you give them a phone number and an email address? Hello, everyone. My name is Jamie Thomas. I'm the Director of Community Services at Enrichment Services Program, and we are here to share information with you about vaccine equity. Um, if you need any additional information, please go to our mm. website, www.enrichmentservices.org, or you can call us at 706-649-1600. Okay, well, thank you, uh, and I hope everybody got that. And uh, we'll put the number at the bottom of the screen so you can see the number and you can give the enrichment services a call. Thank you, ladies, for coming out today, and thank you for everything that you do. Thank you. Thank you. Guess what? Guess who just walked up? M Mary's Caddy Epps, and she's a commissioner for, county, uh, uh, for District 5. And we just wanted to get her to say a few words about this great program that's serving the whole county. Thank you so much. I would just like to say that it is fantastic. I have never seen anything like this really here at the Mother Mary Mission, the back to school program. And it's for all children and it's just a great, it's just a great event. And we really hope that everyone will enjoy themselves and our children will get a material that they can use in their school and in their class. Thank you all for coming, and I appreciate the opportunity to speak. Thank you, ma'am. Still here at Mother Mary's, and it's, it's a hot day out here. A lot of people getting a lot of school supplies. And we got a man here that be giving free haircuts to kids coming back to school, Mr. Mel. Tell us about it, Mel. How you feeling today? We feeling real good. I'm feeling good on today. Just look around. Look around how beautiful it is out here for we can do something for the children going back to school. And, and this is the mayor of South Phoenix City. I want everybody to know that. <laughs> so your kids get their free haircuts and everything. I want you adults to come on down and get a mail some of that business. <laughs> God is so good, ain't he? Uh, yes, he is. God is wonderful. And, wonderful, and, wonderful, wonderful. And a look beautiful at, look thing. at these people here, how yeah, they God, volunteer God is to wonderful. give back. Give back. Give back. Give back. We have a good community. We have a very good community. But like I always say all the time, though, we always do it. We buy the city area, be real good and stuff like that. Right. This is Phoenix a, City, Russell County, all people. The Chattahoochee Valley. Right, Chattahoochee Valley. Yeah, we we Valley. do a good thing for everybody. Right, right. So we just want to make sure we get the, the mayor of South Phoenix City and get an interview because we don't want you to come in there sending the police out there. <laughs> oh, no, we ain't going to do that. But thanks so very much, Mr. Leroy. Uh, thank thanks you. Thanks so very kind. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, we're still here at Mother Mary's, and we just ran into Commissioner Larry Strew, Commissioner of District 7. Commissioner, tell us your involvement and how you appreciate this that going on right now to p support the kids in Russell County. Well, let me say we appreciate what's going on here simply because it, it helps the children of Russell County and Phoenix City. Uh, my involvement is through Omega Psi Phi, Lamar Mu New Chapter of Omega Psi Phi. And uh, we work with uh, Chelsea every year to, to pull us off. Wherever we can get in, we fit in. So we're just happy to be here. We look forward to coming every year and, and hopefully it get bigger every year. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're here with Champ. Of course, we're still here at Mother Mary's. Uh, Champ is the president. Uh, what's your uh, fraternity? Lamar New Chapter of Phoenix City of Make South Five Attorney Incorporated. Incorporated. And tell us your part out here because you guys are doing great things for this back to school giveaway. Awesome, awesome. We're going to miss Bob running all the logistics, but we all together is running within the community. But the logistical pieces are setting up all the tents, all the tables, getting everything here. This has not just been a one-day process, you know. You're right. This is several months of planning, and this morning we've been rocking and rolling since about zero three this morning. Oh, that's good. But look what you're doing it for. Definitely. Look definitely. at all these young people out here. 
And this is what it's about. And some of them probably going to end up in your fraternity when they graduate oh, from college. We sure hope so. All right, great. <laughs> thank you for uh, coming out, and thank you for what you're doing Pleasure. to help this great community out. Well, yes. If I would just say one thing. Yes, go right ahead. We are definitely, we were definitely appreciative of our community. And if it weren't for the brothers of Let Me Know, and we'll make this our fraternity incorporated, we definitely will be able to make this possible. And just thank you for the community for supporting all of our events and all future events to come. But you see what we're actually giving back to the community. Thank you very much. It's been all a pleasure. Right. Thank you, sir. Okay, we're still here today, and one thing we want to talk about before we leave this back-to-school program is about the upcoming September the 17th voter registration drive. I'm here with uh, Annie Thompson. Uh, Annie, tell us the name of your church. Phillips Temple CME Church, and we're located on Holsey Street right next to Pitts Barbershop in Phoenix City. And tell us what's going to be going on that day, Annie. We're going to have a voter registration drive on September 17th, and we're inviting everybody to come out that's not registered to vote. Uh, you can come out and vote, and we'll... I don't know what the times are. Uh, and we'll, we'll just have a block party, and a whole lot of things will be going on. We'll have a lot of local uh, members of the local government, and if you're not registered, come and join us, and we'll register you to vote for the next upcoming election. Okay. And the other thing about it is we're going to cook hamburgers and hot dogs yeah. while we're out there. And we're going to uh, have, like she said, a block party. We're going to block the street off. Yeah. And we're going to do yes. absentee ballot. Yes. So if you know you're going to be out of town or you can't make it uh, because you're having some uh, outpatient surgery yeah. or anything, yeah. come on out to, uh, to Phillips, Phillips Temple. Temple. And uh, we're going to block the streets off right there uh, at Pitt's Barbecue and all of that. Yes. And we're just going to spend that day registering people to vote. So just mark that day on your calendar, September 17th. And we'll be there from 10 until 2. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. As I said earlier, and every time, we're still here at Mother Mary's at the back to school drive, and we have attorney, attorney Jamie Graham here who is giving away back to school items. And Jamie is also running for District Court Judge Place One. District Court Judge Place One. Jamie, tell us about the back to school right now and then other, anything else you want to tell us. Well, we did this last weekend in Hertzburg. Okay. And it's just these people need, well, everybody needs back to school supplies. Right. And it's nice to get out and be able to, to give them things they need and just help out any way you can. Well, great. And uh, I noticed y'all got uh, sanitizers and everything else. One of the biggest things that teachers, and my wife is a teacher, one of the biggest things they need in the classroom with the COVID and other things is hand sanitation. And so anytime we can put it in the kids' hands, that's less they need in the school room. Okay. So it's just, and I think their their list asks for them to bring sanitizer. So that puts them ahead of the game, and mom and dad don't have to go out and buy it. Well, Jamie, thank you for everything that you do. Yeah. And we're glad to see you out here yes, working sir. with us and giving these kids some stuff they need to go back to school. Always. And good luck in your race. Thank you. All right, we're back with Chelsea again as we're getting ready to close down ourselves. Chelsea, tell us about the food. We done talked about all the back to school supplies and everything, and I see the people are very happy. Tell us how you feel because this is a part of your 501 team. Yeah, so we're excited. Uh, we just appreciate the community for coming out to support us today. Uh, we uh, appreciate the partnership, the sponsors, the donors. There's so many to name. I can't name everyone, but definitely our partners, Lena Menu Channel, Omega Top 5 Fraternity Incorporated, Terry Cox, Child Care, Enrichment Services, and Unity United Way. And, and we want to thank you, uh, Chelsea. And we want to let everybody know Chelsea graduated from Central High School. Yes. So she is a homegrown, went to Auburn, and came back home. And look at all of the wonderful things she's doing. So, Chelsea, give them a phone number for your 501 and our email address if they want to contact you. Um, so, you can find us on Facebook at Generational Changers, or you can contact me at 706-577-0892. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you. And we'll see you at the next event because yes. we work so well together. Yes, we do. All right. Thank you. <laughs>